Today we are going to learn how to constrain a natural frequency during a size optimization process with MSC Nastran. My name is Christian. If you have any questions, if you want optimization training, if you want access to today's web app, my email address is here at the bottom of my hand screen. Uh, feel free to uh, reach out to me. I'll first go and describe the model. I'll then describe what are we optimizing, and then I'll walk you through the process of how to set up your natural frequency constraint. To start off with, we have a rod um, that's 12 inches in length. The cross section is originally 0.25 inches. We have two pin constraints as indicated here. And what we want to optimize is the weight. We are going to let the radius of the cross section vary, but we're going to impose a uh, constraint on the frequency. We are going to say that the frequency, and here I haven't updated this from the previous one, the first natural frequency should be greater than 45 hertz. So that's our goal for today. Um, I believe if I look in patron right now, our current first natural frequency is at 29.392 hertz. And we're going to impose a constraint that says, MC Nastron, find me a cross section that produces a first natural frequency greater than 45 hertz. So here I'm just showing you the first mode shape. Let's go ahead and walk you through the process on how to set this up for MSC Nastran. So I'm going to minimize Patran, going to minimize uh, PowerPoint, and here on the web app, click on constraints, and then change the analysis type to normal modes. Look here down the list until you see frequency. Click on the plus icon next to frequency. This creates a frequency constraint that you now have to type in yourself. For the lower limit, I'm going to say that, or it should be the upper limit actually. I'm gonna go ahead and look at my notes. So for the lower limit, we are going to say that you should not go under 45 hertz. As long as the first mode is with above 45 hertz, it will satisfy this constraint. That's what this indicates. Uh, you can leave struct, which stands for structural. You can leave that there. And this field or box, it's asking you for a mode number. So this is where you would say mode one. So this is now targeting the first natural frequency for mode one. So it's now targeting the 29 hertz. Here on the right are my uh, outputs that have been created. I can copy those statements and copy those over to my design model. I already took time for creating my objective and my design variables. So here I can just simply paste my design constraint here and I can run my optimization. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me navigate to the right directory. Let's go ahead and run this. And let me make sure I have enough memory for my virtual machine. So I'll go ahead and close some of these programs. And we'll try that again. And while that's happening, as a reminder, um, my email address was at the beginning of the video. If you want access to this web app, if you want access to more training, if you want access to me to support you in a project of your own, you're more than welcome to reach out to me. And now let's open our F06 file and make sure that our successful message is there indicating a success. Run terminated due to hard convergence at an optimum. Perfect. Let's go ahead and view our mass. Our mass was previously 0.23. Um, what units was I using? I was using slinches, I believe. Right, so my original mass was 0.237 slinches. And then at the end, I ended at 0.56 slinches. So it's actually increased the weight. And it makes sense. Uh, for us to have a higher first natural frequency, we have to make the structure stiffer. And since we only allow the radius to change, it increased the radius. So here, we started at a radius of 0.25, and we ended at a radius of 0.38. 
Our first natural frequency was previously 29 hertz. It is now 45 hertz. Now let's go ahead and jump into Patron and attach our results. When MSC Nashim performs the optimization, it produces a new result file that includes the original and the new results, or structural results, I should say. So let's go ahead and attach those new uh, results. And we'll go ahead and compare the first mode shape. So this was when we had a mode shape of 29 hertz. And let me just inspect this. And we want to plot our eigenvectors with the animation. So this again was our first natural frequency of the original design. Let's go ahead and view what the new mode shape for our new design is. And this should be very comparable to the first mode shape. But now this frequency is at 45 hertz. So here if I look, if you look very closely, as this frequency equals 44.999, which is 45 hertz. And as a contrast to our first frequency of 29 hertz. So in that, in the essence, is how you constrain a uh, natural frequency for MSC Nastra and size optimization. Again, if you have any questions, you want more advanced training, you want access to this web app, feel free to reach out to me at this email address, and I'd be more than glad to reach back out to you. Thank you for watching.